Hey, yo, what's going on? SOS Wrestling Network back at y'all once again for more New Japan Pro Wrestling Super Junior Tag League and World Tag League recap, respectively, right here. So they pretty much wrapped up the black action or most of the black action this past Saturday. And this morning, which being Sunday. So, yeah, they've wrapped up all this stuff right here concerning the blocks and positioning has been settled. We pretty much know who we're going to get in said finals of both tournaments. So we might as well go ahead and get into that right now. So, as I was saying, finals have been set for the New Japan Pro Wrestling Super Junior Tag League after Saturday's matches. So the finals have been set after the last day of round action. In the finals, we got the team of Ace Austin and Chris Bay of the Bullet Club taking on Chaos's Leah Rush and Yo for the trophy Wednesday morning or Wednesday evening, depending where you are in the world. It's Sendai Sun Plaza Hall in Miyagi. So during the Saturday event, we had Yo and Roosh, Roosh, not Roosh, Rush, excuse me. Whenever I see Rush just by itself, I always say Roosh, excuse me, reached the final after defeating Los and Gobernadores de Japón's Bushi and Teton, while Ace Austin and Chris Bay defeated the current IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, Catch-22, that being Francesco Akira and TJP right here. So that's our final that's going to be set up for the uh, Super Junior Tag League, which, like I said, will be taking place on Wednesday. So the final standings of the World Tag League right here, I might as well go ahead and give them to you right now since there's pretty much they're done at this point. Final standings. Yo and Leo Rush both had, they had 14 points. Same with Ace Austin and Chris Bay equaling 14 points. I believe what they called them, uh, strong, it was was strong hearts. It was, it was, I forgot what they called them, strong. I forgot the name that they called, uh, Alex Zane and L. Lindemann, but that name, it was a good ass name, bro. And I'm gonna have to go back and look and see what they called them. But Alex Zane and L. Lindemann, they're sitting here at 12 points. Same with Bushi and Teton. Francisco Akira and TJP, the reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Yoshinobu Kanemaru and Doki ended with eight points. Raizuki Taguchi and Clark Connors also ended, no, excuse me, they ended with six points. And rounding out the final three teams, Kushida and Kevin Knight with four points. Tiger Mask, Robbie Eagles with four points. And of course, Sho and Dick Togo with four points. So like I was saying, the finals will be settled this coming Wednesday with the team of Bullet Club taking on the team of Chaos's the new revised for Puggy 3K. So I'll be up for it early, man. You know what it is. Be on the lookout for that. Once again, we're going to, before I even sign out, I'm almost forgetting about the heavyweight tag team division. So let me go ahead and talk about the heavyweight tag team division while I have y'all here and talk about the comings and goings, goings and comings, comings and goings and all that good stuff of the heavyweight tag league. So just bear with me right here as I bring all that action up right now. So... Looks like currently the World Tag League Finals are also set, and they're going to take place on December 14th, the same show I just talked about right here. So World Tag League Finals are set. The team of Bishimon, that being Hiroki Goto, and Yoshihashi will take on Aussie Open, Mark Davis, and Kyle Fletcher on December 14th, that being a Wednesday, to determine the winner of the World Tag League of this year. So in a final night of action, Tetsuya Naito and Sonata, they needed to win to remain in the hunt, but they ultimately end Made me pissed off. They lost to Evil and Yujiro Takahashi in the night semi-main event. Then Bishimon defeated TMDK in the main event to secure their spot against RC Open on December, December 14th. Once that happened, I totally did not care about the main event. I didn't care that Bishimon was advancing. I'm like, we've already done this Bishimon experiment. I don't really know what the, I guess, the booking of Tetsuya Naito or Los Ingobernables de Japón is right now. It's like they almost get there then they just get cut short. Naito's had that string of this opportunities this year to where he just hasn't been able to cash in on them. So I'm trying to find out, trying to figure out what story they're telling as far as that side of the things here. So, and as we all know, back to the World Tag League, the winner of this World Tag League, of course, will face the IWGP heavyweight tag team champions at Wrestle Kingdom 17. So I'm smelling a three-way match between Bishimon, Aussie Open, and FTR, I really don't. I, Bishimon's a good team. They're a nice team, but we've done this already. I mean, shit. I heard the other teams that they had that were better. Like, Dangerous Techers are clearly better. Uh, I'm waiting on Gorillas of Destiny to come back. They're clearly a better team. I think Naito, Tana, Naito and Tanada, even on being a little bit biased, I think they're a better team. I just don't know what the infatuation with Bishimon is. Maybe they're just having something that I just don't see right now. That is what that is. I mean, I'm a little bit salty with the result, but hey. I mean, what can you do? We're going to watch anyway. So um, I'm already not happy with the result. So I guess I'm just hoping for an Aussie Open victory. Hopefully hopefully they get a clean victory and put Bishimon 
out of the way, but I doubt that's going to happen. I'll probably pick Bishima to get that victory to where it will be a three-way match, which is going to be, oh, 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 so unsavory for me. But what it is what it is. So we might as well go ahead and talk about the final standings of World Tag League 2022. Obviously open, of course, leads the pack with a record of 7-2, seven, two, seven and two, equaling 14 points. Same can be said for Bishiman, unfortunately. 7-2 and two record, 14 points. TMDK, Shane Hayes, and Mikey Nichols had a record of 12 points with a record of 6-3. and three. Same can be said for Tetsu Unido and Sonata. The Great Okan and Aaron Hanari finished with a record of 5-4, and four, equaling 10 points. Hiroshi Tanahashi and Toriyano finished with a record of 4-5, and five, equaling 8 points. Same for Suzuki Guns, Minoru Suzuki, and Lance Archer. Evil and Yujiro Takahashi, those dastardly sons of bitches, finished with a record of 3-6, and six, totaling 6 points. Battle at Fale and Chase Owens finished with four points with a record of two and seven. They forfeited remainder, their remaining matches, as we all know, because Chase Owens had to come back to the States because of a death in his family. And Alex Coughlin and Gabriel Kidd finished in with two points with a record of one and eight. So, like I said, the tournament action concludes on Wednesday, December 14th. So, so far, this is the lineup we have for the show. We have World Tag League Finals, Aussie Open versus Bishimon, Super Junior Tag League Finals, Yo and Leo Rush versus Ace Austin and Chris Bay. Uh, we have Master Wado and Tom, Tom Master Wado, Tama Tonga and Kazuchika Okada versus Ghetto, Taiji Ishimori and Jay White. And for the Never Open Weight Championship, we got Carl Anderson defending against Hikaleo. So when that show happens, please be here because I'm going to be live, man. I'm going to be up and I'm going to be talking about it maybe right after the show is over. So y'all know who we are. We're the Almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Please be sure you like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Can you tell a friend to tell a friend? And yeah, Pro Wrestling Fly Guy, man. I'm signing off. I'm up out of here. Y'all take it easy. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of you, each other. You know, more importantly, take care of you than take care of other people. So, all right, man. I'm up out of here, y'all. Peace.